Okay, so test 11e, this is class 9 physics, chapter 11, okay, work and energy. Let's start with question 20. This is on page 170 of your textbooks, open page to page 170. Let me read the question once. A man climbs a ladder carrying a concrete block of mass 5 kg. Okay, if the ladder makes an angle of 30 degree to the vertical, means something like a wall structure and it's three meter long means the ladder is three meter long how much work the man does on the block so we have to find the work done so here as we read the question just now we find that m here indicating the mass of the concrete block 5 kg is the mass okay and then well, <clears throat> According to the text answer, they're using G as 10 meter per second square. Usually, if it's not given, then it's 9.8. But if we check the book answer at the back, then we find that they are not using 9.8. So they are using 10, okay, 10 meter per second square. So this is nothing but acceleration due to gravity, which is a constant value on Earth. Okay, then H is the question mark the height which above the ground level above the ground level up to which the person carries the block above uh, as to a certain height which we do not know yet okay and then let us draw a representative figure here the question means to say there is a vertical and there is a ladder and the <clears throat> concrete block is carried like this through the ladder here means the height to which it was carried above the ground is this which is h unknown yet question mark we know vertical wall means 90 degree to the ground level so that is one and this is the ladder ladder according to question is three meter long this ladder on which the person is carrying that mass concrete mass to this height above the ground height above the ground would be this one okay vertical not the actual length of the ladder okay then we know that if this is the vertical a b and c then sc is the ladder now the angle between the according to the question the angle between ladder and this vertical wall this ladder and the wall is 30 degrees so let us just put here 30 degrees so in the figure means in this figure rather here <coughs> we have here SC equal to 3 meter representing the length of the ladder okay then let us say this is theta a value of theta theta question uh, not question mark theta is 30 degree let's write in this format this is nothing but angle met mm, by ladder by the ladder angle angle met by the ladder ladder with the vertical so with the vertical means the wall okay then <clears throat> let us find out this a b by using a concept called trigonometry okay so just get this portion so in right triangle abc want to find this h so which is ab the unknown by the given length out of the three sides is the letter ac now this angle 30 degree means it is an angle right every angle has got two arms like this Basically, angle is a figure formed by two lines meeting, means it has got two arms, just like we have two arms, right, human beings. So what are the two arms of this angle 30 degree? Uh, that's right, AB is one arm, the second arm is AC, so these are the two arms. And which isn't the arm of 30 degree, means which is not the arm of 30 degree? Yes, BC, and that is called the opposite side, okay, in trigonometry. Then can we spot like this, this sign here means what? 90 degree means angle again. So it will have two arms like, because every angle has two.
two arms. So what are the two arms of this 90 degree angle? Yes, that's right, BA and BC. Then which is not the arm of this 90 degree in this triangle? That's right, SC. So that side is called hypotenuse, okay, in a right triangle. Now the opposite side is BC, hypotenuse is SC. The one unmarked yet, because every triangle has three sides. That's right, H, this AB is unmarked. The unmarked is always taken as uh, opposite, hypotenuse, and uh, we can take it as um, adjacent side, okay? Adjacent side. So AB is adjacent, BC is opposite, and SC is the hypotenuse when considered this theta, that is 30 degree. So we are now ready. So what is AB by SC? AB is hypotenuse by SC. Sorry, AB is uh, adjacent by SC is hypotenuse. So we are writing here, actually, um, adjacent side by hypotenuse is what it means. AB is adjacent, SC is hypotenuse. As you can clearly see here, AB is the adjacent side. And in trigonometry, adjacent side by hypotenuse side is always hypotenuse by adjacent adjacent by hypotenuse is always cos it is called as cosine okay but in short we write it as cos the name of this ratio is called adjacent side by hypotenuse side is called cos and the angle is 30 degree theta so we do that now next that gives you forget about this part now here ab is unknown yet and we have put it as h h okay h here as you can see divided by sc is nothing but three meter forget about this go here cos 30 degrees always root three by two is just a something you need to memorize it's a constant value okay now we need to find this h so let us put h don't move that this move the denominator will go up and multiply this three root three three in the root three is three root three and meter will also go up divided by two so let us put these values Approximate value of root 3 is 1.73. Let's keep that in mind. Divided by 2. And when we multiply this, we're going to get 3 3s are 9, 3 7s are 21, 1s are 3, 4, 5. Two decimal places, so 1 and 2 here, divided by 2. And let's not forget to put this meter here and here as well. 2 2s are 4, 1 in hand, point 11. So 2 5s are 10, 11, 1 in hand, 19. Two nines are 18, one in hand, then the behind the one, because of decimal point, behind the one you can put zero means 10, two fives are 10. So approximately we're getting 2.595 meter as the height above the ground to which the concrete block was taken up by the person. So now we have all the values that we need. We'll just go and calculate. Now, question is saying, <coughs> how much work the man does so work done let us write so work done work done by the man will be nothing but m g h because he is carrying a concrete mass he is carrying a concrete mass to a height of 2.595 so uh, that is potential energy energy possessed by a body situated above ground level is called potential energy therefore we have to use potential energy formula mgh m is 5 kg g is 10 meter per second square and then h just now we got it here 2.595 meter right so let us do this <coughs> now it's just a matter of using this zero here one to multiply this then decimal will move here and become 25.95 Multiply that to 5, let us do. 25, then 5, 9 is 45, 47. 4 in hand, 5, 5 is 25, 29. So then 11, 12. So 1, 2. So you're going to get your 129.75 here kg meter per second square into here meter. See here kg meter per second square, then 1 meter at the back. So now we can write this one as equal to 129.75 means here yeah, textbook answer is given like this so 
If the second place is 5 or more than 5, the first place of decimal will become increased by 1, 7 plus 1. And then kg meter per second square, you know, can be written as Newton. That is force unit. Then meter here. And we know this can come out as equal to final answer 129.8 newton meter is written in short si unit of energy as joules so the work done by the person to carry the block to a height h above ground is in this case 129.8 joules okay so that's our answer one more question in this class to 20 let's go to 21 okay do it carefully think slowly do it slowly and think carefully rather okay then it's not hard at all so let's go to 21 i think same page let me read the question once how fast a man of mass 60 kg should run so as to okay 21 how fast go to the page 170 years how fast a man of mass 10, 60 kg should run so that the kinetic energy is 750 joules so as we read the question just now these are the data that we are getting mass is person is 50 kg the mass of the person who's running then mm, kinetic energy which we can just put it in abbreviation form as ek is 750 joules is the kinetic energy possessed by this moving man kinetic energy is the energy possessed by a moving object okay we already know that so this much is given now how fast means the word fast means velocity for speed so v is question mark is the velocity with which he should run to obtain to create and to produce a kinetic energy of 750 joule how fast should he run so we're searching for V. Now simply putting we know the formula for kinetic energy is wait before that. So kinetic energy is given in the text as 750. This information is right from the textbook. I mean from the question itself. Now we know that formula for kinetic energy is nothing but half. This one I mean is v, mv square equal to nothing to change here on the right side is same. So half into mass of the person is 60 kg into v square equal to 7 50 joules nothing to change still on the right side now this is the only quantity we need to search so v square just put it without moving 750 joules that's fine you can cancel this before shifting as in two trees are six zero then here this one here 30 kg on the numerator will come down okay then you may as well cancel this now if you want. 3, 2, 6, 1, and then 3, 5. So you're left with 25 joules per kg. I just put it intentionally like this till now so that we can go through the process again together to make it easier for us. Okay, so here, next step, let us go and change this one. V squared, therefore, will be equal to 25 we know that newton meter can be changed to joule so also joule can be changed to newton meter so we're changing the joule to newton meter doing the reverse process so that we can deal with this kg part so that will give you v square equal to 25 and we know that newton we have been doing this kg meter per second square is nothing but newton but newton can also be changed to this reverse process so kg can be changed to, to uh, newton here kg meter per second square for this newton and there is a meter there and down here is kg so that why we're doing that is we can now cancel out the kg there okay then here v will be root over because square remove means root will come 25 then here meter meter means meter square only and here second to the power minus two five fives are 25 so single five will come out of the square root meter square will also come out as single out of the square root 
second to the power minus two will also come out of the square root of the single second to the power minus one. So the velocity, therefore, the person or the man, I think they're using the word man. Mm, how fast should the man run? So the man should run with a velocity of v equal to nothing but 5 meter per second so this is our answer okay so we'll do the next two in the next class okay